Hi guys, in this video I would be showing you how to install macOS Catalina 10.15.6, the latest version and probably the final point release of macOS Catalina on VMware, on Windows 10, on both AMD Ryzen and Intel PCs. So do watch this video till the end to have a working macOS Catalina virtual machine. Before we begin the installation process, I would really appreciate if you guys could hit the subscribe and like button after watching this video to help my channel reach 2000 subscribers. With that out of the way, let's begin the installation process. So the following are the prerequisites. First, you need to have virtualization enabled in the BIOS of your motherboard. If you don't know how to enable virtualization, do a Google search about how to enable virtualization in the BIOS of your particular motherboard. Second, you need to go ahead and download the macOS Catalina 10.15.6 package from the link in the description below which has all the required files to have macOS Catalina 10.15.6 up and running on VMware. By the way, I would be making the first comment sticky which would include answers for frequently asked questions and solutions for commonly faced problems. So do check that comment out before leaving a dislike. If you manage to solve a particular problem which is not mentioned there, do let me know how you did that in the comment section below so that I can include the solution in the sticky comment. Once you have managed to download the macOS Catalina 10.15.6 package, go ahead and move it to the desktop to make your life easier. After that, extract it using either WinRAR or 7-zip. Once done, go ahead and install VMware Workstation Player 15.04, the installation file of which I've included in the package. You may ask why exactly this version? Well, this is the version that I found to be working with the latest macOS Catalina. The latest version of VMware Player, which is 15.5.6, as of recording this video, would give you all sorts of problems. So don't use any version of VMware Player beyond 15.1. Only use 15.04 or you can try 15.1 as some people have found this version to be compatible as well. Once the VMware Player 15.04 has been installed, extract the unlocker 302 zip file. Open the folder. Right click on win-install.cmd file and run it as administrator. Click on yes. This would unlock the option to install macOS on VMware. Now go ahead and open VMware Player. Click on create a new virtual machine. Select I will install the operating system later. Click on next. Select Apple Mac OS X and from the drop down menu select Mac OS 10.14. You can change the name to Mac OS 10.15.6 if you want. Click on next. Select store virtual disk as a single file. Change the maximum disk size to at least 160 GB or more depending on the free space of your hard disk drive or solid state drive or as per your requirement. Don't worry, even if you allot 160 GB, the 160 GB space won't get preoccupied. Click on next. Click on customize hardware. For Catalina, I would recommend you to allot 4 GB RAM to the virtual machine. But if you have a low spec PC, try 2 GB and see if it works. Now select processor. And depending on how many cores your processor has, allot either 2 or 4 cores. I have an 8 core AMD Ryzen processor in my PC, so I would allot 4 cores. Click on Virtualize Intel VTX or AMD V. Now go to New CD DVD SATA and select Use ISO Image File. Click on Browse. Go to macOS Catalina 10.15.6 package. 
select macOS Catalina 10.15.6.iso file and click on open. Now go to USB controller. From the drop down menu select USB 2.0 and select show all USB input devices. Now click on close, finish, close the VMware player. Now go to the documents folder, virtual machines folder, macOS 10.15.6 folder, right click on macOS 10.15.6.vmx file and open it with notepad. Minimize the macOS 10.15.6.vmx file. Now go to the macOS Catalina 10.15.6 package folder and open the vmx text file based on the processor you have in your PC. If you have an AMD Ryzen or FX series processor in your PC, open the VMX file code for AMD text document. If you have an Intel Core branded processor which was launched in or after 2013, open the VMX file for Intel text file. If you have a Core branded processor in your PC which was launched prior to 2013 and if you face any AVX instruction set related issue, Use the code for AMD PCs. As I have an AMD Ryzen processor in my PC, I would open VMX file code for AMD text file. I would select this entire code, copy, I would open the actual VMX file, scroll down to the bottom and I would paste it over here. Now scroll above, change the virtual hardware dot version to 10, click on save and close the VMX file. You can close the VMX code for AMD text document as well. You can close this window as well now. Open VMware player. Select macOS Catalina 10.15.6. Click on Edit Virtual Machine Settings. Go to Options. Select Microsoft Windows. And from the drop down menu, Windows 10 64 bit. This step is important, otherwise, the virtual machine would get stuck at Apple logo. Click on OK. Click on Play Virtual Machine. Click on next. Now double click on disk utility. Select VMware virtual SATA hard drive. Click on erase. If your keyboard is not working in virtual machine, then you can go to player, removable devices, your USB keyboard should show up here. Click on connect disconnect from host. OK. OK. Now you would be able to type and change the name if you want. I would name it to macOS Catalina HDD. If you have a laptop and your laptop's built-in keyboard is not working, you can leave the name as untitled and proceed further. Now click on Erase. Done. Close this window. 
Now select install macOS and click on continue. Continue. Agree. Agree. Select the virtual hard disk and click on install. Continue installation. This may take couple of minutes depending on the speed of your solid state drive or hard disk drive. The operating system is being installed. The moment you see this window once again, go to player, power, shut down guest, click on yes. Open VMware player. Select macOS 10.15.6. Click on edit virtual machine settings. Go to Options, change the OS back to Mac OS 10.14. OK, 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 OK. Click on OK, OK. Now click on Play Virtual Machine. Now select your country and click on continue, 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 don't transfer any information now, click on continue, click on set up later, skip, agree, agree. Now create your user account. Click on continue. Customize settings. Continue. Don't use. Select the time zone. Click on continue. I like to uncheck this. Click on continue. Set up later. Continue. You can select the theme that you want. Click on continue. macOS Catalina 10.15.6 has been successfully installed and now to make it run in full screen mode and to improve its responsiveness plus to enable drag and drop support between macOS virtual machine and Windows 10 host operating system we need to install VMware tools so first eject our macOS Catalina ISO operating system file from the OS by right clicking and clicking on eject now go to the player menu, removable devices, CD, DVD, SATA, settings, select connected, click on browse, select darwin.iso file, click on open, click on ok, double click on install VMware tools. Click on continue, install, continue installation, enter your user account password, install software, click on open security preferences, click 
click on this lock icon enter your user account password once again unlock allow you can click on the lock icon now once again now close the window VMware tools are being installed click on restart to restart the virtual machine Now you can run the macOS Catalina virtual machine in full screen mode. Plus you can drag and drop files between guest macOS and host Windows operating system. Thank you for watching this video guys. My next goal is to make this channel reach 2000 subscribers. So please do hit the subscribe button along with the bell icon to get a notification once I upload my next video. Please do not forget to hit the like button as well. Let me know in the comment section below if you want me to create a tutorial video for macOS Big Sur beta as well. Have a great day. See ya.